Have you cracked the code regarding the use of fire-rated glazing? Since 2000, several updates to the International Building Code, or IBC, have addressed the use of fire-rated glazing. Changes included restricting the use of wired glass in hazardous locations, such as doors, side lights, transoms, windows near the floor, and other areas at risk for impact. These revisions also called for impact safety testing, as well as allowing for modified wired glass, filmed or laminated, as tested by an accredited independent laboratory. That was then. Here's what's new. The good news. The current IBC updates are even more specific regarding glass types, applications, ratings, etc. Thanks to a series of tables, it is easier to understand where and when to use fire-rated glazing. For example, the code now clarifies where fire protection and fire resistance rated products are allowed or prohibited, along with the required fire rating and glass size limits. The new code also simplifies the label scheme, showing where the glass can be used and which tests it passed. Another important change is the elimination of automatic sprinklers during testing to determine fire resistance rating of materials. Now, fire ratings must be earned based on the performance of the glass and frames and not as protected by supplemental systems, providing an additional margin of safety if sprinklers fail during a real-world fire. The IBC changes also call out fire window assembly limits, specifically when and where to use them. For personal support navigating these changes, contact the experts at TGP. They can help you select the appropriate glazing products that meet your project's life safety and aesthetic goals. Since fire and life safety code adoption varies by state, always check code requirements with your local authority having jurisdiction, or AHJ. TGP, one source, many solutions.